The town of Shatborough, situated between Portfolio and Furlough and straddling the river Shat, famous for its thriving tripe industry. Mmm, delicious. And of course, the reason why you're here. The moustache murders of the 1980s. But before we get to that, there is someone you should meet. Leopold Lovechild was born in 1932. The only child of Frank and Jean Lovechild. He was quick of temper, quick of fist, and quick of wit. Often attracting the ladies. But he put his anger to good use. Joining the Shatborough Constabulary at the age of 16, he locked up more crooks, chased more ne'er-do-wells, and bashed more nonces than anyone in the force. Basically, he was a complete bastard. But very soon, he met his match. For there was a killer on the loose, and not any old Tom, Dick, or Harry. This was the moustache killer, so-called because he would paint a comical moustache and glasses on the faces of his victims. <laughs> Imagine! Lovechild hunted the killer mercilessly for years, but the clues ran dry after he rescued a certain young lady from the clutches of the killer. Romance blossomed, and that young girl, to the disgust of the town and the chagrin of the police, all too soon became his wife. The scandal forced him to quietly retire, but he picked up a substantial check for his trouble. And that's where you come in. Today, at number three, Dominic Raab Drive, Shatborough. Tom's home's on the hammer under today. I hear they're in Coventry today. Flattened in the war, you know. Oh, Lady Godiva. She rode through there naked on horse. <laughs> Tits out and everything. Oh, that does it for me. <laughs> Just uh, on your phone, are you? Yeah. Tea? A mind if I, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, over there. Residence. Yes. The Leopold Love Child Residence. Yes. No, no, Gov is his wife. I'm his ex-wife. Uh, is he busy? Oh no, never. He's watching with her though. I was under the hammer at 2.30. He's only just on Yeah, the yeah, he's from Coventry today, isn't it? Yes. Coventry, what do you want? Yeah, no, my mum was from Coventry. Who is this, please? This is DCI Neil Dip, also on the line of DC Dolores Honeysuckle. Can I speak to your husband, please? My, I'm not got a husband. No, Gov, it's his ex Is your ex-husband now? Yes. Hello, this is Love Child. I'm Detective Inspector Neil Dip, also on the line of Detective Dolores Honeysuckle. Is this former Detective Love Child? Yes. We were hoping that you could help us with an investigation, Love Child. If you could meet us at the following location, it concerns... The, the Moustache, moustache killer. killer. 
Welcome back to Chakra Radio. Um, top news today. There has actually been quite a few murders overnight. She's got legs, she knows how to use them. I'm gonna treat her. So, yeah, just keep your wits about you. Um, next up, we've got the results of the Chakra Holding Your Breath Championship. How about that? Ah, uh, thank you for joining us, love child. And who might this be? I'm his wife, Cassandra. What's the score here then? Okay, forensics. It's a female, approximately 34 and a quarter years old, murdered, had her throat cut clean off. There are some markings on her face, appears to be a moustache and glasses. You, of course, know DCI Dip, and this is retired detective Lovechild, and for some reason, his wife, Cassandra. He can't drive. Run over some nuns. Maybe we should go and take a look. This ain't pretty. Love child, are you sure your missus needs to see this? Oh, I want to see. Okay. Oh, sick! As you can see from the markings on the face, they appear to be consistent with your moustache killer. Yeah. 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 What do you think? Why would he disappear for so long? And why come back now? Some people are just sick. Bastards. Look what he looks like him. Solvent based. Four mil chisel tip. Permanent. Smith. It's him. We can tell all that from one little whiff. We need your help, love child. You're the only one who can help break this case wide open. Are you in? Yes. Love Child was delighted to be back on the case. His arch nemesis, the moustache killer, was back. And although this was bad news for the people of Shatborough, for the further eight people killed by Tuesday, it was good news for our intrepid detective, as he could stop rotting in front of the television. Although he did put a series link on Holmes under the hammer, Up a cup of tea. Careful. Sorry, it's just tea. What are you doing up here? <sighs> what does it look as if I'm doing? I'm working. Okay. Audrey said dinner would be about ten minutes. But you just bought biscuits. Well, don't eat them then. What are you going to do to find him then? Well, I remember the last time, the nearest we got to him was in the churchyard. After your parents had been, um, you know, brutally beaten and murdered, he left a pen at the scene. It was the only time he slipped up. Hmm. Child, it's for you. Hello, this is Love Child. Detective Love Child, you'll never find me. Who is this? I'm back, the moustache killer. I do the killings. <laughs> tell me who you are. I'm not going to tell you. You've got to work it out. Reveal yourself, damn you. There's no need to be rude. It's for me to know and you to find out. Oh, I wonder. Hello, 
Shapra Constabulary, how may I direct your call? <laughs> There is no way the suspect is coming from inside this station, love child. I won't have it. What did you say that number was again? 1721. 1471. How has that been a thing? Mind blown. They said you were the best. Now I've seen it with my own eyes. So, what do we do next then? Well, everyone from the station's going to the big policeman's ball tonight. We're all going to be there. Where is it? What time does it start? 20 under hours. Oh, I'll be on site from 18.30 to set up. Yeah. You know, blooms, cake, cheese and pineapple egg jog, the whole shebang. Hello, this is the Shatborough Constabulary Police Station. Unfortunately, everyone from the station is at the big policeman's ball this evening. Is that the so we're... No. Tell them to bring egg. So we are unable to answer your call. If you are calling to report a crime or are in peril, please leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you in the morning. Stay safe. Stay vigilant. Name? I'm former Detective Inspector Lovechild and uh, this is my wife Cassandra. Oh, and uh, my former wife Audrey. Oh, go in. Thank you all for attending. 17th annual Big Policeman's Ball. Hasn't it been a fantastic night? Anyway, here's Riff Clitchards with a song to play us out. Move it. We've got the Custis class in 10. He's got legs, she knows how to use them. I'm gonna treat a little girl how to use them. The kind of woman got everything I need. Let's. The kind of woman got all I want to see. Let's. And when I see her strutting down sexy street, she's sexy. I say to myself, there are the legs for me. She's got legs, she knows how to use them. I got a tree that will get a She's got legs, she knows how to use them. I got a tree that will get a abuse Although they held a funeral for Audrey, some confusion surrounded the circumstances of her death. Where had the killer come from? Where did he go? And who won Simon Says? Thank you for coming. And welcome back to Homes Under the Hammer. Today we're in Shatborough, which sits on the River Shat. 
Shapra is famous for its thriving tripe industry and the spree of moustache murders of the 80s and 90s that were never solved. Today I'm with a forensics detective who's invested in this two-bedroom bungalow. This is a killer property. The price was repeatedly slashed. And you know what? Before we get started, I could murder a cup of tea. Based. Some people are just sick. <laughs> Four mil chisel tip. He's got legs. Permanent. Smiths. We can tell all that from one little whiff. It's him. Dip. Honeysuckle. Over. Love child. Over. I know the killer is. Over. Are you sure? Look, don't, don't think stupid. We're on our way over. Over. I'm just going to go check the garage. Yes, please. <laughs> You're dead. What the hell are you doing? You look like you've seen a ghost. Are you the... Mustachio killer? Well, yes. I wanted to keep you busy. But you're dead. You're... Well, that's right. Shapra's breath-holding competition winner, 1982. You know that. I just held my breath till I got to the mortuary. I thought your holding your breath days were over. You smoked 20 a day. Did I? Well, I just walked out and came here. Shh! Don't tell forensics. <laughs> so it was you who did the... I'm the moustache killer. I did all the killings. <laughs> and... Hello, Shapra Constabulary. How may I direct your call? Which means that you... Oh, dang it! Dang it! Dang it! This! 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 So we buried a bag of bricks. I'm going to have to hand you in. You're going to have to let us go. Well, I suppose you could turn me in, but um, who would cook your meals? Wash your clothes. Answer your phone. She couldn't. She couldn't butter bread. Why don't you turn her in? You'd be back on the force. You wouldn't be bored and who knows? In a couple of weeks, maybe there'll be another moustache drawn on somebody's face. <laughs> Who's going to solve that one? What are you saying? Copycat. Oh, it was Audrey! She's still alive! She's the champion of whole number of 84 to 89! Shut it! But some of these murders were before I was born. We only need a name. How am I going to get home? She's got legs, she knows how to use her. I'm going to treat her real good, not abuse her. The kind of woman got everything I need. Legs. 
The kind of woman got all I wanna see. Lights. And when I see her strutting down sexy street, she's sexy. I say to myself, there are the legs for me. She's got legs, she knows how to use them. I gotta treat her good, not abuse her. She's got legs, she knows how to use them. I gotta treat her good, not abuse her. Diner. Flip it, diner. She's putting so much.